My name is Kara Winger. I'm a three-time Olympic javelin thrower. Made my first Olympic team in college. I've broken the American record. I had actually won nationals four years in a row at that point. She's been on top of the U.S. for the last almost 10 years. Going into her second Olympics, she had the experience to make a great attempt at running for a medal in 2012. She was, she was on top of her game. I was leading the competition. I'm coming down the runway on my fourth throw, and my foot was pointed in a little different direction than it normally is. I don't even really remember falling, I just remember being on the ground. In the moment, I didn't think that it was as serious as it was. It was like five days between the competition and the MRI when I found out. I tore my ACL. Finding out that it was this massive structural issue was just devastating. When you tear your ACL, the upper part of your leg will shift backwards from where it's supposed to be. The worst case scenario for my knee was further damage, competing on it. You only get one Olympics every four years. I knew I had one shot and there was no way I was gonna turn it down. My coaches knew, but kind of no one else knew what was going on. I needed to operate with a lot of denial. I was trying to compete with the best people in the world at a pretty serious disadvantage. I knew my first throw was going to be really painful. Like I had one opportunity to get a pretty good attempt in before my leg was hurting too much. When I got on the runway, all of a sudden I realized like how crazy what I'm doing is. Like I was afraid of pain, um, afraid of maybe attention for this decision that I had made, and then also afraid of if I didn't do a good enough job, a lot of criticism that might come my way. But I couldn't look back, I just had to go for it. When I threw, it hurt, but it was more relief than anything. I threw four meters further than I had thrown in Beijing four years prior with a torn ACL. It was a tough recovery, as it is for most major surgeries, so you're looking at six to eight months recovery minimum. The most heartbreaking thing, I think, was knowing that an ACL surgery changes your knee, like it changes your leg. I was kind of entering this no man's land that I didn't really know if I was equipped for, but I had to face head on. Throwing a javelin is like running into a brick wall, right? And liking it. Right at nine months post-op, we had national championships. I remember being in tears. I was so nervous to get back into it. But ultimately, I chalked my leg up, I put my brace on, and I finished third in the nation nine months post-op. Push the hips up and through yeah. as the right side's driving down. Injuries present you with opportunities to grow, and I feel like that's what I've done for my whole career. I've come a long way, but I don't have what I want yet, which is at least international finals. I've made one final out of seven. I get out of bed every day because I know I have unfinished business in the sport.